Hi guys, it's raining in Southern California. Cozy it up. I got my little sweater on. We're about to spark it like a little blunt and have a quick conversation, okay? I want to talk about starting a new life, moving on to a different phase of your life. And understanding that we're not living in the times that our parents used to fucking leave, right? Let's talk about it. It just really started re-raining again. It just restarted raining again. What English am I using? God damn. Forgive me, okay? English is my second language. <laughs> it really is though. So I have a few points on my page that I want to talk to you about. But let's let's see this, okay? So, I was watching a show the other day on, uh, I want to say HBO Max. I don't remember the name of the show, please. I'm sorry. But I can find it and easily put it in the comments. I think it was on HBO. It was a show about a black woman called Jamila. Jamila worked as an engineer for 10 years of her life. Like, she was creating machines and systems and processes and how okay if we're gonna press this button this is going to activate and this is gonna go and go and go and this is what we're gonna get she was an engineer for 10 years jamila is a black goddess who lives in um this is in atlanta i believe jamila now left her job as an engineer and now works as a farmer She has a farm, a huge farm, and she teaches other people how to start, how to grow, or how to fix your garden, right? Because there's a lot of people who have like little gardens in their backyard and they don't know why she's not working. And part of her experience as an engineer has allowed her to be, to excel as a farmer. <coughs> Part of her experience as an engineer allowed her to excel as a farmer. Because not only does she understand how the soil works, she understands the engineering that goes between making every crop that she plants grow. That story, again, highlighted to me a concept that I am recently learning and trying to digest right because i'm 29 years old i've lived in america 12 years so i am 12 american years i am 17 african years i was born and raised in cameroon west africa and came here at the age of 17. the idea that i can switch careers at some point because i want to is very new to me our parents and grandparents and their parents and the parents of their parents you go to school you go to college, you get a degree in something that you want to do or that you know is easy. Like if you're getting good, good grades in that bitch, um, you graduate, you get a job, and you work there till you're 60 and retire and wait to die. Back in the days, people used to die in at their 50s. People used to die in their 60s. Today, people die at 100 years old. Today, people live a long fucking life. Today, you can retire from your actual job career at 63 and open a shop, open a business, open this, open that, and keep living a different life, a different role. I call them roles. I call them phases of your life, right? And it's... For part of my life, I used to take it as an embarrassment that I have been through so many jobs, let's call it. I've been in so many roles. But every time I looked back, I excel at those things that I put myself in. So I'm not failing because I didn't stick with one thing for 50 years. 
I am excelling. I went into nursing and I was amazing. I just decided that the, the money part of nursing, I'm not, my heart can't do it. My heart can't do it. A family telling you, let my mom die. I can't wait her for her to die so I can get that money. They sign a DNR on their mama and I'm like, what? Those things where you need to be careful because, oh, you might get sued. That's not why I went into nursing. I went into nursing to heal and save lives. And I didn't see myself doing that at work. I saw myself managing people's lives. I saw myself trying to avoid not to kill people every fucking day. At some point, I worked as a writer. I used to make money for by writing. I would write for kids in college. I would write articles for people. For almost four years. I worked as a nurse in so many settings. I work in psych hospitals with people who are there because they're actually crazy. With people who are there because they are pretending to be crazy and they don't want to go to jail. With people who are there because they are on rehab and they are trying to detox from drugs. I have worked in places with kids who are disabled and can't walk, can't move, can't talk, can't speak, can't eat. I have walked, walked, worked, walked, worked. <laughs> as a Uber driver, I have worked as a, a alcohol delivery driver. I was gonna say the company's name, and I'm like, nah, don't do it. I have had multiple hats, and in every single one of those, I have excelled. I have not been fired. I'm not been said, listen, you need to go because you don't know what. No, I've just left. I'm over it. I'm bored. For a long time, I used to take that as, oh my God, I am such a failure. And now I have learned that the experience from these other jobs, these other positions, might help you in a brand new position that you never even expected. Imagine going from an engineer to a farmer and people are like, what the fuck? How is even the connection? Right? You are allowed to recreate yourself. You are allowed to go start the next phase of your life. You're allowed to switch hats or roles. You're allowed to go from just a mom to now a teacher. From just a teacher to, oh, now I want to sew. You're allowed to shift gears. You're allowed to shift spaces. Experience from the lab's job might somehow come in handy in this new job. Me working with violent people at a psych hospital allowed me to be very prepared working with children who have autism and behavioral problems. Working with drug addicts allowed me to be able to handle people with a trash ass behavior. Because people who don't want to hell accountable, they're drug addicts sometimes. Drug addicts don't want to hell accountable. It's not me, it's drugs. And if you deal with people like that in your life, my experience has prepared me for that. You are allowed to shift spaces, shift gears, shift jobs and careers as many times as you want to. You can go back to school tomorrow. You can start again every single day. This is your life. The limit is when we fucking die. Okay? So if you needed permission, if you needed a different perspective, if you needed confirmation, this is it. If you no longer want to work as... A medical assistant because and you're scared because what am I gonna do next and blah, 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 blah. whatever that idea you have in your head go try go try have these experiences this is what makes life worth it when you're 80 years old talking to people grandchildren and other people who are like hey what would you say to your younger self if you were 10 years old you should be able to say I lived my life I did what I wanted to do it cost me in some ways because there's nothing that comes with no sacrifice. 
but I did what I wanted to do. I love you guys for watching. I hope that this gave you some freedom. And like Jamila, you can shift spaces and still excel. Bye, loves.